A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Wednesday, December 22nd. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. The annual somber candlelight vigil to remember the homeless who died on the streets of Poughkeepsie over the last year took place last night, December 21st. The vigil coincides with the winter solstice, the longest night of the year. Hudson River Housing held the vigil on the grounds of the Dutchess County Sheriff's Office. The temporary housing was and still is a joint effort between Hudson River Housing, Dutchess County, and several other community agencies, says Executive Director Krista Hines. We're all here tonight because we envision a world without homelessness. This is at the core of Hudson River Housing's mission and at the heart of all of the work that we do. We know that when some of our neighbors are struggling, it hurts all of us and our community. A former homeless man going by the name of Pharaoh read a powerful poem he authored entitled Nobody that describes his interaction with another homeless person on the streets. A lack of beds at secured detention facilities throughout the state for adolescent offenders aged 16 and 17 who have committed felony-level offenses has created an issue with county jails. Orange County Under Sheriff Ken Jones says County Family Court Judge Victoria Campbell recently issued an order that would have made the sheriff's office violate law. When state lawmakers enacted the Raise the Age law, it prohibited county jails from housing adolescent offenders 16 and 17 years old from being housed in county jails. Recently, a 16-year-old Newburgh boy was arrested on weapons charges. Family Court Judge Victoria Campbell ordered him remanded to the Orange County Jail, which does not have the appropriate staff or space to handle teens, says Under Sheriff Jones. In the case of Judge Campbell, um, she was fully cognizant that there was no bed and ordered us to take him into custody anyway. And uh, I heard from her lips something I've never heard from a judge before, that it's really not relevant to her what the availability of beds were, and we would have to figure it out. As a result of the shortage of secure facilities for teens, the sheriff's office has told local police departments they will no longer pick up any adolescent offenders remanded by the court unless a bed is pre-cleared as available. More news in just a moment. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination, the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. The Open Space Institute has purchased a 10-mile-long, 101-acre stretch of unused former Erie Railroad line in Orange County. OSI spokeswoman Eileen Larrabee said the development of a new rail trail will be conducted by the county. This acquisition will set the stage for a new construction of a Scunamunk rail trail um, with the goal of creating new multi-use recreational trail between uh, Scunamunk Mountain State Park and Goose Pond State Park and adding improved recreational opportunity for white, uh, for walkers, for cyclists, for hikers, uh, for birders. OSI paid $1.8 million to purchase the property from the owners. The property starts in the town of Cornwall at the Moodna Trestle traverses the towns of Blooming Grove and Chester, as well as the village of Washingtonville, and ends at Orange County's Camp LaGuardia, which is adjacent to the Heritage Trail in the village of Chester. A brawl that broke out immediately following a boys' basketball game between Newburgh Free Academy and their opponents in Brooklyn last Saturday is believed to have been initiated by players from the other team. Newburgh administrators said that determination followed review of video recordings of the fight the officials said they recognized occasions where the students made attempts to walk away that should be highlighted. The Newburgh administrator said they were disappointed by the lack of security that was provided at the event. And in the future, the district will assess each event 
and based on need, will provide their own security monitors for students. Meanwhile, police in the city and town of Newburgh and town of New Windsor are continuing their investigations into recent incidents of violence among students at the main campus of Newburgh Free Academy. Some have been captured on video. Orange County District Attorney David Hoover is watching how the investigations play out. I'm working with the police department uh, on, on those issues as well, uh, and they're working with the school district, and if and when they develop enough probable cause to make an arrest in those cases, we will do what we can to prosecute them. But again, if the offenders are juveniles or adolescent offenders, essentially 15, 16, 17-year-old kids, the majority of those cases are going to family court, so there will be little, if any, ramifications for their conduct. School district officials have remained silent about the ongoing conduct, except to say they've beefed up security at NFA Maine. A federal complaint unsealed in U.S. District Court in White Plains is charging Daniel Butch Resnick of Glen Wild with money laundering. According to the complaint, he allegedly laundered money for a confidential federal source. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.